Hey guys, thanks again for watching uh, my day one advanced warfare videos. Um, there's a shorter one on instinct. Um, this map definitely feels like uh, some of the ghosts and other maps, and you know, typical atypical jungle map. You know, um, it's not too bad though. Um, not too bad yet. I haven't really run into a map that I like despise. Sometimes you'll run into a map like that right away, and you're like, oh, I never want to play that map again. While I don't feel that way about this map, I would say that it's not one of my favorites. It's just okay. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but um, I definitely like the the environments that they have. There's this one map, Solar, I'm a pretty big fan of so far. Uh, I've been trying to switch it up a little bit on my tactics, uh, but I've been sticking with the same gun for a little while. The AK-12G that I'm using now, the gold one, with I have a red dot and an ergo grip. Uh, it's been working out pretty well for me. While it's not perfect, it does do the trick. And uh, the kill confirm has been going pretty well too. One tip that you got to watch out for while playing Advanced Warfare is sometimes with the you know with the jumping and the echoes on O suits is um, you know if people are jumping mid air and you kill them mid air or someone on your team gets killed mid mid air, uh, the tags might be suspended in the air and you got to probably jump to get them. So just be aware of that because if, if be vigilant because there might be tags up in the air that you have to uh, you want to go and grab and that's mainly the biggest change really is you, uh, you want to watch out for that stuff like that uh, for kill confirm and it, it, it's funny it varies too like I'll have games kill because obviously your kill death doesn't necessarily matter and kill confirm if you know your teams are getting the tags and whatnot so I'll have games, I had a bunch of games today where I went positive or I was kicking ass, but we ended up losing by a few or, or a good amount. Um, so it's a tough balance. So, I mean, it comes down to do you want to win or do you want your kill death to be good? And some people would much rather have their kill death be good. Uh, and I remember it was like that for me too in Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. I, I really did care about my kill death ratio a little too much. Uh, I remember COD 4 it was like 1.02. And then... Uh, Modern Warfare 2 is, is a little better than that. It was like 107, 10, 10.08. Um, but it, as I kept playing that game, it would just go down slightly. And then I think in Modern Warfare 3, I never had it a positive KD. Uh, so I really don't care about my kill death ratio. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's positive in, say, a game like Battlefield 4, where I have a lot of games where I wreck house, but I'm having fun with my friends and. Uh, that's what really matters, and that's what I'm liking about this game so far. The gameplay is addictive. It looks good. It's fun to play. It's fluid. So um, it's pretty much everything that Call of Duty Ghosts is not. Uh, Ghosts isn't that pretty looking. I mean, it doesn't feel that fluid. I mean, it adds, it adds the dogs, and that's really annoying because you know you could be shooting a dog, a dog could be turned away f from you, and you could get the drop on the dog, and the dog will just kill you. So there's nothing stupid like that in here. I do think some of the hardcore Call of Duty fans will be turned away by this game. Not all, some um, due to you know the sci-fi, you know, um, advanced warfare, you know, you know uh, aspects of the game. I mean, it, I, I think it compared to Titanfall. People were, some people were saying it was a ripoff of Titanfall. And I do feel similarities in Titanfall, but Titanfall is more parkour. Yes, there's jumping and fly around, but you don't run off walls in Advanced Warfare, not to my knowledge, anyways. Uh, and then also with some of the advanced weapons, I mean, there'll be probably some comparisons to Halo with the laser weapons and whatnot. So, um, I know that some people really did like the World War II stuff in Call of Duty, and obviously a lot of people like the modern stuff, so it will be interesting to see how it, it fans take to the advanced futuristic stuff. Um, but maybe they don't like that, but you still got to respect them for one, trying something new, and two, the fact that it, so far for me, it's been pretty addictive and fun. I definitely dig the, uh, the wrist, uh, grenade launcher thing that you have there to shoot your grenades from. Um, so that's something that I, I definitely, uh, am going to keep. I'm going to keep using grenades and stuff like that. It's almost like a mini grenade launcher. I did go to the Semtex as soon as I unlocked them. Those are the sticky ones. Very similar to the sticky grenades in uh, Halo. You know, if you can actually tag somebody uh, with that. Or, you know, just blow up in that general area. So, there's there's that going on. 
and like I was saying with the environment, um, there's there's variety to them which I dig. Uh, and also some of the maps do have some kind of environmental thing going on. I forget which map it is, but there's a volcano that goes off and um, nearby, so it will start shooting lava in the general area. And things like that I, I like a lot um, so far. But anyways, that's just a little taste of uh, Kill Confirmed, some of the tactics I use and what I'm thinking about the game so far. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave me any feedback that you want on Twitter or right here in the comment section. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Thank <laughs> you.